Hey, what's up? Thanks for tuning in. My name is Crystal, for those of you that are new here, and today I'm gonna share with you 10 different ways to wear a headscarf. If you do not have a headscarf, I highly suggest you go out and get one because this is the perfect accessory. Not only is it super stylish, but it is so versatile. Also, it works to protect your hair while you sleep or if you're out in the sun all day. If you're not sure where to get these, I know that they have them on Amazon or on Etsy, or you can go the designer route and get something from like Fendi or Coach. I got mine at my local beauty store for $4. But anyway, before I get into this, do me a favor and like this video and subscribe to my channel. So our first look, we're going to take our scarf and fold it into a diagonal so that you're left with a big triangle. And you're going to take it and make sure that this pointy part is facing forward, so in front of your face, and you're going to gather all the fabric and tie it up in the front. So you're going to tie it over this flap right here. So this part, you're going to take these two ends and tie them up in the back twice. Then tuck the ends in to the sides. And you're left with this part right here. Hello. And you're going to take this front part, twist it, and tuck it in. Now you want to adjust your hair. And you can also adjust it if you feel like it's not quite right. Just fix it to your liking. And you're left with a cute little turban. This is what it looks like from behind. Okay, next look. You're going to want to take your scarf again and fold it into a diagonal. Okay, so we have our big triangle. But this time, the pointy part goes into the back. So you want to have something like this. Then you're going to want to gather the fabric and tie it up back here. So this is up to you. If you want to tie it twice, create a bow. I'm going to create a bow back here. I know that Jennifer Lopez has worn a look like this, Bella Hadid, Kylie Jenner, and it's super easy and cute. Okay, next. Okay, so this is when you don't want to be recognized out in public and you just want to be a diva. Take your scarf, turn it into a big triangle, pointy part in the back. I'm just gonna wrap it around once and tie it on the side right here. Make sure my hair is not sticking out. gonna take my scarf and again fold it into a diagonal I feel like most of these looks are folded on a diagonal and then I'm gonna fold it one more time so that's two folds and three folds to get me to this size then I'm going to place it underneath my ponytail tie it up instantly dresses up your low ponytail. So now I'm gonna tie my hair up in a high ponytail. Okay, so we have like our nice pineapple ponytail look. Okay, but wait, we can dress it up with a few different scarf styles. The first one is super easy. This gives me kind of like 60s vibes, this look. You're gonna take it, fold it into a big triangle once again. After you fold it into that big triangle, you're gonna fold it once, twice, and three times. Then you're going to take it and just place it on top of your head. Make sure that that little flappy part is tucked in. And you're just gonna wanna give it a tie underneath. I'm gonna do two just so that it's secure. And there you go. So for our next look, we're folding it in a diagonal again and getting it to be very small so that it's the size of like a headband like this. And you're gonna place this part in the nape of your head and you're gonna want to tie it once 
make sure that your hair doesn't get stuck in between like mine just did and then twist it and tie it up again in the back tucking those ends in see now this looks like more of a fashionable headband right here see that little knot that it created i think that's pretty cute so this one can actually be worn both ways with you know your face frame out or everything tucked back i'm going to show you what that looks like right here next look same method as the last one fold it into a headband very easy you have your bow but if you don't like the size of it you can always pull on the ends to make your bow smaller and then we tuck these ends while i'm taking mine together twisting them and i'm going to tuck them into the sides and then we could push this to the side a little bit more and there you have it cute little bow okay so for the next look this one is pretty cool you're gonna take your big triangle and you're gonna fold it so that the top of the triangle touches this straight line here at the top. So it should look something like this. See that? Okay. And now we're gonna take it, again, making sure that this flappy part stays on the inside like this and we're gonna gather all this fabric and tying this up so the way that you hide the rest of this fabric is optional I am going to just tie it in the back and two knots just so it's secure, tucking the ends in. I personally like this one to go to sleep, that way there's not too much friction in the back of my head against the pillow, and you could just tie your hair into a nice pineapple, call it a day. Check it out. Okay, so for this next one, I'm gonna take my ponytail and turn it into just like a messy bun keeping my face frame pieces out. Okay, so you have your little bun. And now we're gonna take our scarf, fold it into a big triangle. So that's just one corner against the other corner. And we're taking that top half and bringing it all the way to the top of your triangle. So you have something like this again. And just like the style we did previously, you're gonna make sure that that flappy part is on the inside and we're gonna tie it. So I tied it once. I'm gonna do twice just to be secure. And then, see this end? You're gonna open it up and wrap it around your bun. If you have some ends left out, just twist them and tuck them into the side here. So you see this part right here? You're gonna twist it, wrap it around and tuck it in just like that. Just adjust it to your liking. Next look, we're gonna turn it into a shirt. So you're gonna take your square and fold it into a big triangle. And of course, you'll wanna make sure you're wearing a strapless bra or something of that nature so that none of your straps show. And you're just gonna take it and tie it up in the back twice so that it's secure or hiding your bra straps in my case. 
make sure that this is tight. You don't want no slip ups happening when you wear this one. So it should look something like this. Super cute to pair with jeans, high waisted jeans, and you could tuck them in like this. Or you could take that little flappy part and turn it into a total crop top. How you do that is you take these two flaps, tie them up, tuck in the sides. So it's stylish and it's silk. Silk is so on trend right now. Pair it up with a nice jacket. And there you have a cute little outfit. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Also, if you recreate any of these looks, don't forget to tag me on Instagram. I put my Instagram handle down below in the description box. Also, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any of my new videos. All right, guys, see you in my next one. Bye.